I just found a new modern easy to use automation platform that is a modern alternative to Zapier. Introducing Relay App. Relay App is a no code AI automation platform that is quite powerful. Beyond the workflow automation basics you expect from any great automation tool, Relay App also makes it easier for you to bring AI and human judgment into any workflow so that making the process of automating various things super easy. Now you may be wondering why even use automations in the first place? Well let me explain. You probably are using ChatGPT for all sorts of things. Proofreading documents, classifying emails, drafting content, and so much more. Well, what if instead of going to ChatGPT and copying and pasting everything in and out, you could have AI working for you in the background automatically and all the time? This is where Relay App is going to enable you to easily create powerful AI automations that work for you across all of your tools. Just take a look at this customer onboarding automation workflow. It's a demo video where the whole process to onboard a customer from the CRM to sending an email out to the customer is fully automated. Just take a look. Here, you can see how I manage my client onboarding workflow. I'm using HubSpot to manage my clients, Notion to manage my customer onboarding projects, Google Docs to create and share my project plans, and Gmail to communicate with my clients. Other automation tools either visualize your complex workflows in a way that is hard to follow or simply just can't keep up with the needs of your business, not Relay.app. In Relay.app, an automated workflow is referred to as a playbook. And this playbook triggers when a deal is won in my HubSpot. A run is one instance of a playbook. So one completed run means one new customer has begun onboarding. My Notion then updates the customer client tracker to notify my team that we have work to do. And a project plan is then generated as a Google Doc. But we have two separate project models, therefore two separate project plans, hosted and on-premise. We need to ensure clients opting for the hosted model are shown the hosted project plan and vice versa. This is where flow control comes into play. So thank you, Relay.app. We are able to set conditional rules that tell our playbook, hey, this happened, so do this, or that happened, so do that. Selecting the rule-based path option creates two paths, A and B. A will be for the hosted project model and B for the on-premise. When the deployment type is exactly hosted, the playbook will know that this run will take path A. All I needed to do was select my template document and Relay.app automatically detected my placeholders. Then I just simply selected what data from HubSpot replaced which placeholder in my doc. The final step in my playbook then sends an email to the customer welcoming them along with the project plan attached. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is the capability of Relay App, and this is something that we're gonna be showcasing throughout today's video, where we showcase how you can get started, explore the capabilities of Relay App, and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video to showcase Relay App. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. I would like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel, and this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. Now, before we showcase our own personal automation example, let's take a look at some features behind Relay App. Now, the great thing about this automation platform is that there's various integrations that are included in every plan, meaning that you're going to be able to automate on almost every platform that's out there like Google Sheets, Airtable, Gmail, HubSpot, and so many others. With Relay, there's no need to be an API expert, meaning that app objectives make it super simple for you to basically access nested and linked properties. And this basically means that you're going to eliminate the need for additional lookups with the help of Relay. Now, Relay app isn't just a generic automation platform. It's able to go beyond 
by being in flexible automation platform, meaning that it's going to be able to add more conditions, more flexibility to whatever automation you're working with, meaning that you can have multiple different paths. You can add conditions that can portray a certain type of automation in a certain way based off the environment. And this is something that gives you more flexibility. Whereas if you are to take a look at many other automation platforms, this is a feature that isn't actually there. Now, the great thing with Relay is that they have a human in the loop automation, meaning that there is inserted checkpoints in your workflow, meaning that it's going to collect approvals or inputs from yourself or others throughout the process of your automation. This is basically going to refine your automation and you can have this as a toggled setting so that you can have human intervention for your automation or you can have it autonomously automated. Now, the features that I mentioned are just a handful of features that I basically emphasized on. There's so many other capabilities of Relay app, and I definitely recommend that you go over to the Relay app website, take a look at their features page, because they are explaining each feature further in detail over here. They added demo videos as well as tutorials on all of these features. So definitely recommend that you take a look at the resources, because there's so many different types of tools and resources that you can utilize to get started with Relay app. So now that we got all of that out of the way, let's get started with our personal demo. What I want you guys to do is go over to the Relay.app website link, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, as well as all the other links that I use in today's video there. Now, once you are on this homepage, you want to click on start for free. Now, this will prompt open this page where you can agree to the terms and privacy policy based off your own discretion, and you want to sign up with your Google account or your Microsoft account. After you create your account, you can then select a plan or start utilizing Relay.app for free, which is something that I definitely recommend that you start off with. This way you can explore the platform itself. And if you do end up liking it, you can then head over with the professional plan. Once you sign up, you'll be then sent over to this Relay app workflow page. This is where you're going to be able to utilize all these components to build your automation. Now, on the left hand side, you have different tutorials that you can manage and manage different applications within your settings, meaning that you can integrate all of these different types of applications into your workflows. If you head over to the members tab, you're also going to be able to invite other team members to this platform, which will allow you and enable anyone to collaborate with multiple people to edit as well as create various workflows within Relay app. So now that we're familiar with this platform, head over to the workflows tab, and this is where we're going to start on creating our own automation now what you can do is just simply click on new workflow and this is where you're going to be able to manage all your triggers to get started so what we're going to be doing is setting up an email automation and this is where we're going to be able to automate our gmail or outlook so this is where i'm going to now search up an email trigger with gmail so this is what you do is just simply type in gmail and you can basically automate emails that you receive send or label added so click on email received and what you're going to need to do is connect your Gmail account. Next, what you're going to be doing is adding filters. This is where you can basically have it so it will trigger this email automation only to the responses that are being sent to our support domain. So I'm going to paste in, this, paste in that domain for our email address so that it only triggers that particular filter. So I have a support email that I have now linked up. And basically what I'm going to be doing now is having it so that it doesn't respond to all of my emails, but it responds to particular emails that inquire for the consulting services. To help us do this, we're going to be adding an integration for AI. This is where we're going to be adding a custom AI prompt. And the reason why we're going to be doing this is because we're going to be setting this prompt so that it analyzes a particular type of query that we get in our support domain. So now I gave it a system prompt where I stated that you are a support agent for World of AI YouTube channel. Please determine whether this email contains a question about consulting services. So now what you can do is provide additional context. And this is where I'm going to be providing it for my entire email. You can also have it linked to a knowledge base so that it references and answers questions based off of that knowledge base. You can also have it so that it has internet access, which will basically prompt in better responses. Now, in this case, I'm not going to have it so that it outputs a text response. It's going to be something that is going to be a yes or no condition. You may wonder why add a condition. Well, this is because 
it will refine your answers way better in terms of processing the queries. So I stated, does this email contain inquiries about consulting services? If yes, it will then proceed with the next step of the flow. So if we have this now set up, we can now add a condition where you can have it that the AI will basically respond with an email automatically and it will do this fully autonomously or you can have it so that there is a flow path meaning that it will be rule based. There's two pathways. One of the paths will have a condition stating that if it is about consulting services, then the AI will generate the email. If not, it won't do anything. So for this first path, we'll have it so that if it's about consulting services, then we'll add a path rule. In this case, you just simply click on this button. You click on the path rule that we configured with our AI model. And this is where we have it so that does this email contain inquiries about consulting services? If yes, it will then proceed forward with that pathway. So if it is about consulting services, it will then proceed to the next step where we have AI basically work on generating the content. And there we go. We have a system prompt that will be then given to this model that's going to be then providing the answers for this condition. This is where I told it that you are a support agent slash consultant for the World of AI YouTube channel. Please write a concise and friendly reply to the email about the consulting services we provide, such as software development, AI algorithm, machine learning, etc. To come up with your answer, please reference the latest information about World of AI Solutions, the consulting agency we have at this website link. I know we don't have a website at the moment, but this is just one link that I provided. And I also said, please look up other AI agencies, latest services, and include a comparison that highlights World of AI Solutions in your response. Now, what we're going to be doing is setting up the structure for our response. With the at symbol, you can have it so that it will respond to the first name for the person who is inquiring about our services. The bulk of this is going to be the response to the email. And then at the end, I say best regards, Mahi. I'm going to give it access to Google and searching various sorts of websites and URLs as we told it to basically do so. Now, you're going to also add additional context by stating that you wanted to observe the entire email for context and as we go down you can have the ai suggest the output in my opinion you just want to have it as a text output and once that's done you can just simply click done and lastly we just need to then create the gmail draft reply as our last flow as the ai is going to be doing this next step so once we have this now set up we can then have it so that it will then reference the entire email it will then also reference the model response that we have set right now with gpt4 omni mini and this is with the mini or for the message itself. And lastly, you can even have it so that it includes different attachments such as the conversation. But now that we have all this set, we can then test this out. So to test this out, I've actually sent an email to the support domain about a question of the consulting services. So let's go back to the workflow and test this out. So we're gonna test the run. And what we're gonna be doing is testing about this question about consulting services, create a test run, now, what it's going to be doing is it's going to be starting to run this automation. This is where it's going to trigger. I actually manually triggered this uh, email response, but it's going to first start off by going through the conditions to see if this is something that is resulting about the inquiries of the consultant services. If so, it will go through the first path, which is now going to be able to process a draft and it's going to then create that draft by utilizing NLP services with the GPT-4 Omni mini model. And we can see within a couple of seconds, we'll have an output of a draft, which we should be able to see for the consulting services. So, and there we go. We have a response to Bob saying, thank you for your interest in world of AI solutions. We offer consulting services in AI algorithm, machine learning, and software development. Our services include AI readiness assessment, strategy development, and implementation etc etc compared to firms like these and then it gives sources and it's saying that we will cater to your needs and you can schedule a consultation to discuss your specific needs now you can even have it so that relay can have an an addition to uh, another integration such as calendly so that it can even book different meetings for you or book different google meets or microsoft teams meetings for you this way your whole email flow is automated from onboarding new clients to booking new calls you can even do this with various things such as work and even have that even automated this is just one simple flow that we automated today 
there's so many other apps that you can work with to automate you can automate messages you can create chatbots do so many different things with relay app and this is why i definitely see this as a great option that you should definitely take a look at because it's a free plan that you can get started with and there's so much to this but that's basically it for today's video on relay this is a great automation platform that you should definitely take a look at with the link in the description below but with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it make sure you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access different ai subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.